Meanwhile, the co-chair of the Citizens' Movement Against Corruption, Adam Senanu, says he is not surprised that the former CEO of Cocoa Board, Dr. Stephen Kwabena Opuni, has been sued. He said the case will serve as a deterrent to other public officials. He advised that public sector officials should pay attention to details, especially when carrying out assignments on behalf of the state. To the extent that one ends up in jail, one ought to be more careful. I think what has happened is that for a very long time, these cases have not run their full mileage and people held culpable. So many officers and officials say, oh, we can get away. Let's just single source. Let's just procure, etc." This type of case will begin to send the right message and serve as a deterrent for many more officials who may be inclined to thinking that, look, let's just use single source, give it to our own friends, share the money, uh, create loot and share, and, and, and Ghana is the poorer for it. So I think that these cases are serious cases. They may have become normal because we haven't seen people prosecuted and jailed for it, but hopefully all of that is going to change. But I believe potentially we've gotten to a point where a lot more cases are going to be seen in the public space where individuals and groups who have defrauded the state will be held accountable. Let's just stay with the courts. Uh, the Supreme Court has dismissed an application for judicial review filed by Standard Bank Offshore Company against the National Investment Bank, NIB. According to the Apex Court, the application failed to meet requirements set for review. A seven-member panel presided over by Chief Justice Sophia Kufu with Justices William Atuguba, Julius Ansan, Sophia Adinuna, Jones Doche, K. Enin Yabwa, and A. A. Benin assistant sat on the case. Justice Jones Doche, who delivered the judgment, emphasized the option for review should not be an avenue for the satisfied litigant to re-argue their case. The Supreme Court was of the view the application failed to establish a case of miscarriage of justice and the ordinary bench did not misapply the fact. The only condition met was failing the application within the one-month period stipulated by law. The APS court dismissed the application on the basis that it lacked merit. The review was praying the Supreme Court to set aside its decision to dismiss a $60 million judgment debt entered against NIB. A commercial division of the Accra High Court in February 2013 ordered NIB to pay the money to Standard Bank Offshore Company and the decision was upheld by the Court of Appeal in October 2013 following an appeal from NIB. Not satisfied with the court's ruling, NIB took the matter to the Supreme Court asking it to quash the decisions of the two lower courts. 